Hey everybody, Ben here for the Bonehead Podcast and welcome to Blood Bowl Star Player Spotlight Max Spleen Ripper. So we're looking at all the star players available in Blood Bowl 2020, whether they're from the core rulebook, just themselves, or like this guy here from a Spike magazine. So Max Spleen Ripper landed in Spike 13 with the corn release a couple of weekends ago, last week. I don't know. It's all one long time. This guy is strength four, has a chainsaw, and is all about the gore. So we're going to have a look at what teams he can play for and just what you get for your money. Okay, so teams. Max Spleen Ripper is a favoured of Star Player, which means he's available in Chaos, Chaos Dwarves, Chaos Renegades, Corn, and Nurgle of the Games Workshop teams, and also um, Nurgle, Demons of Corn from the NAF Expanded teams. So he is a Chainsaw Star Player. Now, that means that some of these teams are going to be able to run both him and Helmet at the same time. Now, Helmet, when it comes to being a star player with a chainsaw, does a very good job. And this guy, I think, may just do an even better one. So let's have a look and see what you get for your gold. And it's going to be 130,000 gold to bring on Max Spleen Ripper onto your roster. So he is movement 5, strength 4. And that is a standout piece, okay? This is 130k for a strength 4 player. Edge 4 plus is just fine, passing nothing. Don't worry about it. Armor 9 plus, that's not bad either. So we've got an armor 9 plus strength 4 player. So if you want someone to just go on the line, to just block, to just be strong, to just put on the side of your cage, Max Spleen Ripper will do all of that. He is not just a chainsaw star player he is also the cheapest way to get that extra strength onto your roster now all those chaos all those chaos teams have got access basically to high strength blockers okay uh, except renegades now there's an angle here where you've got max beam ripper and he is amazing with a chainsaw but actually on defense when you are using him to protect your players that strength four thing is going to be massive at keeping him alive he's going to get in the way it's going to be very difficult for most teams to block him you know effectively and and probably just mentioned there are going to be some times where you might want to block this instead and you can do it with strength four i know he's got loan of four plus but you can go for that block so if you need to push a way through you can do it with max however the guy's got a chainsaw for a very good reason chainsaw loan of four plus and secret weapon standard chainsaw rules apply so 130k You've got a strength four blocker here. No block skill, but strength four is going to mean that he can go on the line, you can do whatever, and he's going to be protected in a way that every other chainsaw player is not. If you've ever run goblins before, you'll know that a good opponent will target your chainsaw piece, will target your ball and chain piece. Good luck targeting Max, because you know what? He's strength four. As long as you keep him protected by a buddy, they are going to struggle to get a good block against him, and if it goes wrong, then the chainsaw comes into effect. And then he's got his special ability too. So Maximum Carnage is a very simple special rule. And it is absolutely wonderful. Once per game. Instead of chainsawing one dude, he can chainsaw two dudes. That's it. That's his special rule. Once per game, you get two attacks with a chainsaw. So Max Spleen Ripper for 130k, strength 4, gives you options. Keeps him alive. But once per game you are going to be able to have two plus three attempts with a chainsaw. And that doesn't need to be on players that are standing. So if you've got some guard, and let's face it, the Chaos teams are likely to have that strength access. If you've got a bit of guard, guards go towards fouls. So there is a situation here where you can knock a couple of guys down in, a, in contact with a player with guard, and then plus four, plus four with the chainsaw and just finish them off. I know that is uh, best case scenario mentality and Marshall from Limited Resources would be very cross at me, but I'm not cross because I love the idea of a double chainsaw turn. The vulnerability of a chainsaw is that one, they get blocked out really good, be they got blocked out really easily because that plus three goes against them if they hit the ground. The other downside is that secret weapon means they're not around for long and they, you know, if, if your drive goes quick, if you don't get an opportunity to go for all the chainsaw blocks that you want, that secret weapon is going to mean that you get gone and you don't get to maximize it. But you know what? 
that strength keeps him alive and the ability once per game and let's face it it's going to be on the first drive that you deploy max spleen ripper he's going to open up he's going to be on the line he's going to have two goes at taking somebody out sometimes it's going to work brilliantly and when it doesn't you know what you end up with a strength four player on the line and i don't know you kind of feel pretty satisfied when you've had two goes with the chainsaw so max spleen ripper 130k chainsaw extraordinaire let's have a look at some model options for him and first up we've got the forge world model itself so max spleen ripper from forge world i think he's 19 pounds maybe 21 pounds now when it comes to forge world models they are pretty well designed they are pretty well sculpted but they are pretty highly priced for one dude it's a cool model this one i would probably describe it as being quite stylized okay he's got a very funny hat and the new blood bowl stuff's got this kind of comic-y element to it we saw it with um Scylla and fingram and we're seeing it with max spleen ripper it's kind of got the it definitely fits in with the art now i think it's a cool design the chainsaw itself is awesome like there's so much detail and character in it but if you are looking to pick up this model and you, you can go with somebody else and decrease the price, the, po the, the price of postage, that's 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 cool. Otherwise, you're going to be playing 20 plus pounds for one star player. And I think it's OK if you've got nothing else to buy and you've got a hobby budget and you're looking for a painting challenge, you're looking for one piece, you're prepping for a tournament, and you need this guy. Go for it. However, I do have an alternative for you. This guy is from Grebo Games. Now, the Forge World model is probably about £20 with postage. Grebo Games postage is quite expensive if they're in the UK. I think it's £14. This guy here is €9.99. Euros. So, actually, it's probably the same price as buying this guy um, from Forge World. But, I mean, look at it. So, this guy is called um, Max Mad Krovach. He's €9.99 in Euros, and he is a chunky boy. So, chaos is about big armor big arms right this guy here clearly strength four he's got that chainsaw element now i love the alternative piece i do love this model from grebo but the real beautiful thing here when it comes to max spleen ripper is he is just a guy with a chainsaw and this is where the star player element of blood bowl is so much fun because what you need to do is tie it in with your team go with a strong theme make sure he's got a chainsaw as long as he's got a chainsaw and one of those other two boxes are ticked you're good to go if you've got a chaos warrior roster and you get a dwarf with a chainsaw you get a, a hobgoblin with a chainsaw you get a goblin with a chainsaw and chuck on a bunch of spikes anything that could represent max spleen ripper as a chaotic chainsaw piece is gonna be just fine now the only gray area will be if you're running two chainsaws at once so if you're going and living the dream with helmet wolf and max spleen ripper make sure that one of them is chonkier than the other and you can really tell them apart because this guy being strength four is a genuine gotcha moment on the pitch so make sure they know who Max Spleen Ripper is and that he's strength for and that he can block twice in one turn. All right, so that wraps up the star player spotlight for Max Spleen Ripper. 130k, strength four, once per game, two chainsaw attacks. If you are in a league situation and you've got enough money to take a chainsaw star player, Max is definitely not a bad way to go. The downside is going to be that secret weapon element. And I guess this is where, this is where the bad bit happens now. This is a great pickup for 130k, undoubtedly. For 170k, however, you do get the Verminator, who is a movement 5 ball and chain and has a special ability that is basically a free auto bribe. So vulnerability of Max is being sent off and that's him for the game. The Verminator gets to come back one more time for 40k more. And for 10k more than that, you get access to Hackflem, who is an ultimately game-changing player as well. And that's all for less than 200k so we've always kind of asked is it better than a wizard actually the wizard will give you the opportunity to change up the game max is going to hurt some dudes hack is going to help you win the game and the verminator is just going to pound iron even more so really you get the opportunity to choose how you want to go if you want to get those fouls in, Max is going to be awesome. If you want to just pound face the Verminator, if you can afford him, it's going to be great. But if you want to win the game, you've got the opportunity to take Hackflem for 50k more. So it's a really good place to be. If you are a favoured of team, you've got a bunch of different tools at your disposal. If you're going up against Bash, Max is going to be great. 
the strength for himself but actually that plus three and the ability to do it twice per turn is going to mean you can probably open up a can of death on the front line immediately and uh, if you're up against a team that's got some serious brawl they're probably also packing some serious team value so taking a couple of their good players out is going to massively massively aid you but when it comes to winning the game hack flare may be better and if it just comes to fighting there is a potential that verminator will do more damage but if you are in the market for a chainsaw and you are a chaos player i don't think you can do better than max spleen ripper Anyway, do let me know what you think of Max in this edition or if there's another cool model you like to run with him. And uh, yeah, I'm going to disappear now and contemplate running a Helmet Wolf Max Spleen Ripper corn roster for just an unnecessary amount of casualties. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back soon with more Blood Bowl content. Happy chainsawing. Thanks very much for watching. We really appreciate your support. If you want to help support the channel even further, please like and subscribe or come join us on our Patreon. We have early access to content. We get loads of feedback from you guys and we try and do competitions as much as we can. Or you can get yourself some Bonehead Podcast merch on our Spreadshirt site. So if you want to support a team, especially for the Bonehead Championship, you can pick up a shirt, a mug, things like that. It all helps support the channel and we really appreciate it. Anyway, links below. Thank you very much. Happy blocking. And it's going to be a hundred and thirty thousand gold of pieces. This is garbage. Why is everything so...